The Albany Police Department issuing an advisory to the public this weekend. And News 10's James De La Fuente has tonight's exclusive look at what's being done to fight the increase in crime. The city of Albany has seen an increase of 65% from last year of car break-ins and car theft. Police reminding people to keep their cars locked and their belongings out of sight. We've had nine vehicles stolen within the last 28 days here in the city of Albany. Three of those vehicles were left running unattended. The others were all left uh, unlocked. The city of Troy seeing an increase of over 18% in the last five years. Assistant Police Chief Stephen Barker telling us they have had their midnight patrol officers specially tasked with, quote, extra patrols in areas where increased thefts have occurred. We have made several arrests for associated crimes this year. Police officials across the capital region all telling News 10 that many times these incidents are crimes of opportunity and they can happen anywhere at any time. So what can you do to keep your vehicle and your belongings safe? The Albany Police Department advisory reminding people to make sure their cars are always locked and to take their keys with them. Do not leave your spare inside. They're also suggesting that you can hide your belongings under your seat or place them in the trunk. If you need to start your car before travel, they advise getting a remote car starter and to memorize the make, model, color, and the plate number of your vehicle in order to help the police in case it is stolen. Albany County Sheriff Craig Apple has concerns that the car thefts could result in a more serious crime. My other worry, of course, is with the recent gun legislation. There are signs on some businesses that you can carry, some businesses you can't carry. It's very convoluted. At a necessity of caution, they'll come out and they'll lock their gun in the car. I'm fearful that you'll have stolen handguns now as well. All three law enforcement agencies tell News 10 the same advice. Lock up your vehicles because this is a crime of opportunity and it can be avoided. In Albany, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC. New tonight, an 